garbage day. I wonder if the boy's getting the garbage around. Dave is always excited to be out in the mornings. Go get him. Like I was saying yesterday about the police being here, how nice it is. Um, policeman just has pulled up it took 20 minutes to get out of there this morning so when they're not here it takes a lot longer but I am certainly glad he showed up you know I think today's a chocolate milk kind of morning it's time for a meeting with my favorite youth guy Justin wonder how you, he and his wife are doing you know they're expecting always enjoy meeting with Justin uh, very very fortunate man he drives all the way from another town to come down and have breakfast and it used to be when we when he first started ministry I was kind of like the one that was leading him and it's kind of changing now he's kind of showing me stuff now which is awesome I need all the help I can get but enjoy hanging out with him and just kind of getting pumped up and um, we share in our sorrows and share in our joys, man. That's just cool. And it is cold today. Burr. And to take an emergency break, which really doesn't mean anything other than I've got so much stuff going on in my mind until I can't really focus on anything. Um, I'm sure that's happened to you before, right? But I've got... A wedding coming up, a day now coming up. Um, starting a new study tonight with a group of guys called Tuesday Night. Pretty excited about that. And then Bible study on Wednesday. And uh, my mind's just 5,000 different directions. So uh, I had to just get up and walk around for a little bit. I think I'm going to make some coffee. Not that that's going to help me any, but. I got cold when I was outside walking, so. But I'm looking forward to tonight. Can't wait to introduce you to the guys. I think it's time to clean out my coffee maker. Yuck. <laughs> Chairs that cost thousands of dollars, what do they do? I don't know, but like, they supposedly like support your lower back while like, pushing your upper back forward or something. You know what you can do? Man, I don't know. You can lean forward and get a Coke bottle and stick behind your back uh -huh. and it'll push you out. Yeah. It is our new group that started and that's kind of what we're calling our meeting, but we got to come up with a name for our group. And you got to throw up the twos. So let's meet everybody. Give us your name and your favorite thing about me. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, that was good. All right, Jaden. Jaden Downs. Yes. Joshua is back there behind the tri. Classic Josh Burns. Josh Burns. Josh Burns eats worms. <laughs> Sorry. Peyton Parrish. Peyton. He's a soccer guy. Dude, I'm not going to lie to you. 100 with you. That hat's too small for your head. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's just see. Let's see what they. I'm, I mean, you know, I, I, you know how I love you, man. Yeah. I'm just the bears. That didn't work. That's RG3 right there. Oh, broke down. All right. Next, Caleb Gord. What's up, DJ? The DJ. My favorite thing about Kenny is his bear hugs. Oh man, straight up grizzly. Straight up grizzly. Since we got the camera out, let's just talk about Super Bowl. Please or unpleased with the outcome? Okay, you're picking your nose. <laughs> unpleased. Unpleased? You're a Panther guy. Anyone else? Anyone else? I'm unpleased. Yeah, yeah. Should have been Tom Brady. 
he ran out of air. Daisy, what do you think, Daisy? I, I was pleased with the outcome because I like to see Peyton Manning go out on top. As for the game itself, I was kind of displeased because I didn't feel like it had the action that Super Bowls usually. Have. I agree completely. But from a defensive standpoint, Von Miller's a beast. Oh yeah. So, well, yeah. As, as you know, we're all SEC guys, so defense is our life. And do from Texas A&M. <laughs> yeah, that defense definitely. Ridiculous. All right, now for the big thing, Beyonce. Are you yes. offended, or do you not care at all? About what? Beyonce. Her halftime program, everybody's saying, was a racist thing because she was celebrating the 50-year anniversary of the Black Panther Party, which was a black supremacy party. The Black Panthers. This yeah. is my only problem with that, yeah. is that if a white person would have done it, it would be an outrage and yeah. it would be all over. Because yeah. somebody posted about, like, if somebody showed up in KKK robes and did something like that, <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> but it's okay oh, because she's a strong, that. black, independent woman. How does that make... You know, society okay for that. So that's my problem. Okay. I don't yeah, know what it is now. You got it now? Yeah, I asked my parents who they were. I was part of the Black Panthers. You were? Yeah, I went to Jemison. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, the I didn't I couldn't hear one thing that she sang. I couldn't either. Uh, me neither. So I didn't and she just she makes my skin crawl because I'm thinking you got a child that's old enough to know that's mama up there looking like a hoochie. Yep. That's <laughs> that ain't good. Me. That ain't good. I mean, but I feel like Coldplay, man. I feel bad because I'm a Coldplay fan, and I felt like they didn't really get their Super Bowl. No, they got teams. shafted. Yeah, they did. All right, last thing about the Super Bowl. Cam Newton not diving on the ball in the last fumble. Oh, yeah. That's just Dude, ridiculous, he, man. He was I mean, scared all the way. But the thing is, I mean, he's been taking hits all night. Uh, well, I, did. That's why I don't realize. I think you got to be able to why he got up and cried during the press conference is because he understood what he did. See, I don't think so, because he came out and said today, like, if he would have dove at that football, he would have risked more injury. And that he said that fumble didn't cost him the game. There was a lot of other plays before that fumble. So, I okay. still feel like you should be able to take one more hit. Yeah, Alabama or Auburn fan? Auburn. Yeah, okay. Well, I know back there is a big Bama guy. You, big. You, just, you hate Cam Newton. You just don't care. You're like, I hope he dies. So. Awful person. Yeah, he's a terrible person. I, I like mean, making all those kids that. smile by giving them balls and yeah. Thanksgiving lunches and stuff. <laughs> he is an awful person. Cam the scam. You don't want that to happen. So we should probably get into what we're going to do tonight. It was a good night with the guys. First night uh, meeting uh, on our Tuesday night. We don't really have a name or anything. Just enjoying time together. So. Uh, I'm going upstairs to see my fam for a minute, and then I think I'm going to bed. Uh, so, man, just love God, love people, be better.